Hello, this is an informational session for the uh, OMBA students regarding one of the concentration options, uh, in this case project management. My name is Dr. Pinto. I am the faculty lead for the project management uh, degree option uh, in through the Penn State system. I'm also the faculty lead for this concentration within the OMBA. So my purpose here is to give a very brief uh, rundown on the courses, a little bit of the background on it, uh, just some understanding for those of you who perhaps don't know that much about project management, why this is such a um, popular uh, degree and a popular concentration as well within the OMBA program. Briefly, there are, for the project management, there are four courses that are required in the degree, excuse me, four courses that are required in the concentration. The first one, the Management 510 course, is the Foundations course. That's sort of the broad overview. The Management 515 is Cost and Value Management. So that's understanding how to set up project budgets, how to manage the costs for the project, essentially cost estimation and then cost control for projects, as well as understanding from the value perspective how to get maximum value. Management 520, the third course, is planning and resource management. Now, planning and resource management is exactly what it sounds like. The, the heart of project management, of course, is understanding how to set up the networks and the schedules to understand activity duration estimation, how to create a project network, how to understand a uh, critical path of a project, uh, which activities have slack, time associated with them, etc. So when we think of uh, the, the heart or the essence of project management, a lot of times we're really talking about sort of the planning feature of it, which is the Management 520 course. Finally, the Management 525, which is uh, commercial law and project procurement, is looking at joint issues. In this situation, you're looking not only at the commercial law aspects of running projects and to understand contracts and contracting, but also understanding how do we create a project supply chain. In some ways, you'll find that the material here, at least part of the material, is somewhat similar to material in other supply chain courses, at least from a general perspective. What we do is a much deeper dive down into the specifics of how to manage a project supply chain, which in many industries is incredibly difficult and very complex. Now, I was asked to make some comments uh, in broader strokes about uh, issues of career path and opportunities in project management, these sorts of things. Uh, what I'd like to do is to explain this in some detail. First of all, just so we understand, when we talk about projects and we talk about project-based industries, we're no longer talking about the old standbys, which were con uh, construction, pharmaceuticals, aerospace, and automotive, um, some of the ones that IT, some of the ones that really sort of had the, the general um, project-based approach for years and years and years. Nowadays, if we look at organizations and industries that are engaged in project management, it, they're across the board. Uh, literally everything from service industries, certainly hospitality, restaurants, things like this, uh, but also financial services, even law, are very heavily project-based. Healthcare, very heavily project based, all the way into uh, manufacturing and then into other, other industries as well. So, one of the interesting features of project management as a career option is first and foremost recognizing that regardless of the career field you started in, regardless of where you intend to go with your degree, one sure truism is that you're going to be involved in projects. You're going to be doing them. And in fact, we often say this to our students that short of the CEO role, the, the corner office in your organization, the only other job that gives that kind of a panorama of all the different aspects of the project uh, of, of corporate life is the project manager. Because if you think about it, project managers are responsible for budgets. They're responsible for product, getting something out the door. They're responsible for stakeholder relationships and stakeholder management. They have to manage their own work teams. They have to deal with all these di other different internal stakeholders like department heads, 
the accountant, all these other groups as well. So it's a fascinating combination of a set of computational and technical skills, which we teach, coupled with the people side of the equation. How do I know that project management is as ubiquitous and as popular as I say it is? Well, we have the U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics, for example, in 2016, pointed out the fact that somewhere around 65% of all business being done in organizations today is project-based. Further, 27 trillion, that's with a T, 27 trillion dollars in infrastructure projects are expected to be undertaken uh, within the next 20 years. So there's an enormous need for projects and project management type work. We also know that project manager roles, again, U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics, are expected to expand by a quarter million dollars, a quarter million positions each year. Now, those are new positions. Those are not replacing positions, but these are new positions needed in all these different industries, and that's just in the United States. When you factor in Western Europe, Canada, South America, South and Central America, and the Pacific Rim, you can see a couple million new positions in project management every year for an expanding economy. So it's a phenomenally important role and it's a phenomenally popular role. A good project manager is generally worth their weight in gold, or at least, again, according to the latest uh, Bureau of Labor Statistics um, locate, uh, determinations, um, the average project manager is making approximately $110,000 a year in the U.S. So it's a very good role, it's a very popular role, and it's a very lucrative one. Um, I was asked to comment on the uh, relevancy to business practices. I think I did that a little bit, but just to maybe clarify some of these points a little further, the thing to remember and reflect on is that unlike some of the disciplinary positions, so for example, becoming a finance person, an engineer, a marketing person, an accountant, or an operations specialist, reflect on the, the fact that project management cuts across all of these different disciplines, that the project manager role is one undertaken in organizations to manage these special types of projects, the things, the activities that have a beginning and an end, a defined budget that have to get done, that have some mission critical aspects associated with them. Organizations are in desperate need for these types of individuals, for project managers. Some of you currently do project-based work now, and you're coming back to get a master's degree while you're working in projects in your organization, for example, engineering. Some of you are interested in, in projects and project management, but you're not entirely sure what kinds of avenues for success this provides you. What you will find from this project management concentration is the development, the starting to develop a skill set that is so popular with organizations because it is such a specialist type of, of background. People who can manage projects are always going to be of, of value to their organizations. Again, my name is Dr. Jeffrey Pinto. I'm in charge of the concentration in project management for the OMBA, as well as the lead faculty member for the Master of Project Management degree program here at Penn State. I'd be happy to answer any additional questions any of you might have after listening to this short video. My email address is jkp4 at psu.edu, jkp4 at psu.edu. My phone number is 814-898-6430. If you have any questions, please feel free to give me a call. I'd be delighted to talk to you about it, uh, go into this in more detail, or answer, answer any additional uh, queries that you might have about the, uh, the concentration. Thank you.